Oh. Yes, sir. It's time. I was testing the mic out here, and I always have to let Pretty know what's going on as we get closer up to it. Kind of like that old ring announcer back in the wrestling days, letting you know, giving you a time of how close it is to either the bell or starting time. Ten seconds, five seconds. <laughs> That's what I need in here. I need one of those bells, like a ringside bell, in case of me and baby getting a scrape. You're so dumb. <laughs> what in the world's that from? What's that coming from? Not me. It's a. It ain't that, is it? Yeah, it is. It is that? Why is it coming up in there like that? Mm-hmm. That was crazy. What in the Sam Hill. Wow, but pretty pooch here, howdy, folks, and of course. We got our good old HTO, unofficial sponsor of Pretty and Pooch. Pretty and Pooch is the proud sponsor of HTO. Watermelon Refresher is the flavor for me tonight. And I have blueberry cream. That's right. Good stuff. Why do we continue to one promote of these days. HTO? I mean, it's been one of these days for about a year. Yeah, one of these days, Pretty. One of these days. Do you even put hashtag HTO on there or anything? I think I forgot to stop doing it. Oh yeah, they're probably, gonna find out. Probably right. need to probably need to start doing it again. That way they'll know that hey, these guys are legit. They they're for real. Oh my god. Speaking of, I gotta get my calm down ready because you know how I roll. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, you're getting your calm down. I'm gonna see who all is in. Good happy Wednesday, everybody. We're glad that you guys are here. Let's see here. <laughs> Melinda Dobson says live from El Bano. Okay, mm-hmm. yeah, let's Porta Bano. Look at that live from Porta Bano. Okay, first and foremost, uh, that was the day that um, I we went live on a Saturday because just uh, you know randomly went live. We're prepping for our camping trip. Yes, and I had zero makeup on. And look at the picture Pooch puts as the thumbnail. I'm sitting on our porta potty. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's kind of yeah. like a your morning constitution. Taking a load off your mind. What are you going to do about that morning constitution? Especially after you have some coffee or something. I'll be in that baño. <laughs> I don't know. I'll try to hold it till we get home. Oh, my Lord. Okay. And then I'll beeline it 115 all the way home. <laughs> oh lord hey there's piggy piggy's piddles is in the house what's up piggy rebecca touched by yarn is here rebecca howdy ma'am um there's tracy tnt adventures good evening tracy yay i'm glad you're here tracy yeah i was about um, to say glad you're here and usually you're off at the grind but today you're here thank you melinda said by the way pooch porta means door that's why i said el baño el baño well I don't know. I kind of went by porta potty, which is kind of what they call them too. If porta, so porta baño, but there is a door on there. I have something to tell y'all too <laughs> later when more people get in here. It's <laughs> so hysterical. It's funny. Um, there's Kelly Rebel at Heart. Howdy, Kelly. How are you, ma'am? And Evelyn Newman. Evelyn. Howdy. There's Brian, the Vineyard Farmhouse. What's up, Brian? Lori Carp is here. Lori, howdy, ma'am. Uh, there's Debbie, two old people on a couch. Howdy, Debbie. Boy, there's yeah. Tristan. What's up there, Sonny? <laughs> Dot Roper. Tristan, I have to tell you something, too. It's really Uh-oh. funny. Howdy, Dot. Uh, hey, Al Jacobson is here. Al. Hey, Al. Good to have you in here, sir. Yes. Hope, hope maybe you're sitting close to your mother and she's listening, or but we sure love her. We miss her. And uh, the news we got... Today was she's doing better. Yes. Good so news. That's good news. Because that's mm. Mm. But thanks for joining Susie. us, Al. Um, let's see here. Oh, there's Terry, MT Homestead. Hi, Terry. How are you, ma'am? Hope Order. I don't hit your banyo when I pull up in the camp. <laughs> you know what, Brian? If you hit that banyo, <laughs> I, I don't even know what to say. Brian. There's Leanne Gunther. Yeah, howdy, Leanne. I bet Brian gets some good 
footage, video footage, and some good videos I uploaded regarding the banyo. Yeah, I'm going to get some <laughs> video footage of him. I'm actually going to go live when he gets into the banyo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, oh, Beth Cornette is here. Well, howdy, Beth. How are you, ma'am? Says hello, peeps. Mm -hmm. There's James Hall. James Hall, howdy, sir. There's Dink and Tank. Dink and Tank, howdy, howdy. Welcome in, everybody. Let me mm. see. We've got a few probably still rolling in here as we carry on, but yeah, that was fun. Our little live. Saturday afternoon video, huh? Uh huh. It was fun. Spur of the moment, sporadic, out of the blue, out of nowhere. It just happened. I think when I brought Pretty out there to take a gander at our um, soon to be sleeping arrangements next, not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Well, I'm getting excited too. But baby said, hey, let's go live. Yeah. Why As not? we were attempting, trying to figure out that little masterpiece that we're taking <laughs> so have you decided to like are you going to um is there a way to nail oh, it yeah, down there's okay. to take, but i'm gonna take my axe with me and hammer it down in there okay because i would hate to be sitting on it and then the wind like brian it. said with yeah. the wind take it up and blow oh, it off oh my gosh i would never show my face ever again never the baby say let's go to the house yeah let's go i'm out <laughs> be so embarrassing oh my god they'd be caught with their pants down oh my gosh yeah <laughs> anyway i've had some offers to go spend the night um with uh heard heard that and heard that outdoors in case if it gets too bad ah yeah. randy and julie yeah no, they tell you to come on over if it gets too hectic yeah julie invited me and debbie yeah. you know you know how excited debbie is about camping oh yeah yeah <laughs> Which I think I heard a little something while you were in some live or something. And Debbie says, or Mark, grumpy grandpa. So I guess him. You guys are going to be spooning. Yeah. That was last night on Julie. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. Randy and Julie's uh, live. So yeah. I wonder, Mark, to... I wonder why Mark's getting the boot already. Well, I don't think Debbie likes camp either. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't think so. Uh, interesting. I thought Debbie, I thought Deb liked camping. I don't know, Debbie. Tell me why you don't want to. Tell me why you're trying I mean, to go and they have a go slumber to the party little with lake and Camp out. And Debbie's usually there. Debbie, why do you at, not want to camp out at Ten Killer? <laughs> Wanda Henry's here. Howdy, Wanda. There's How Wendy Brewer. She says she loves the photo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could have got more of the full one, but being the way it was, I just snatched it out of our live, and it was the best I could do with it. Oh my gosh. There's Kevin hiking with Jackie Boy. Hey, Kevin. How are you, sir? Linda Peterson is in the house. Linda, howdy, ma'am. And... and I meant to think when we saw Terry, I wondered if she's getting in on the chili cook-off contest. I forgot to. Oh, oh, yeah. I forgot to mention that because I know she makes a mean batch. She of chili. sure does. Get ready, man. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out if I need to make the chili beforehand. Or make it there. It's kind of what I'm trying <gasps> to figure out. Look, there's Susie. There's Susie. Hey, Susie oh Jacobson. Oh, my gosh. So, so glad to see you in here, ma'am. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. Susie. Exciting. I'm happy <gasps> oh, to see you. Yes. Oh, my gosh. It's so heartwarming when, to when see you. When you're able to, we'll make a phone call again and chat. Oh, my gosh. That makes my eyes water. Yay, Susie. I'm happy to see you in the chat. For sure. Great. Greatness. Oh, thanks, Leanne. You're so sweet. But yeah, I'm wondering if should I make the chili on site or should I make it at home? That way I can, we can carry it there. And then it's got a good, because I think the chili cook off competition Saturday. So if I make it like Thursday night, get it refrigerated, and then Friday we take it and then keep it in the ice chest refrigerated. That way it's got like tea. It's going to have time to stoop and steep, you know, and then. I don't know. You know what? I'm not uh, the cook. Linda Oki's <laughs> here. Hey, Lynn. How are you, ma'am? Bowen. There's Bowen. Howdy, sir. Good Bowen, to see I hope you you're doing in here well. Too. Yep. Good to see these folks in mm -hmm. here. Okay. I have to tell you something. Let me get to the bottom. It's, it's kind of funny. I wonder where, if LaDonna's here. Let me see. 
Madonna? so Madonna's really gonna. Uh oh, Kickapoo. <laughs> yeah, it's Kickapoo here. Dang. She, I don't know. She didn't remind me about the tea today, but mm. you know, y'all keep Kickapoo in your thoughts too. She's kind of, as a matter of fact, she has I think, her own health problems. I think she goes to the cardiologist tomorrow. So, mm. our good friend Ladonna Kickapoo Crafty had a little light heart attack this past week mm -hmm. and um luckily it didn't cause any damage or anything but um she's she's battling her own little health issues so if she's not she's, in here y'all think about her and pray for her and keep her in your mind Thoughts absolutely and there's mark hey there's mark. maybe mark can spill the beans huh? Happy grandpa patriot show yeah. maybe he can um, on what the issue is with debbie and camping and how how it's come to a term that <laughs> I heard about uh, possible spooning or something going on. <laughs> okay, Debbie said, my eyes are not working well to read the chat. So if I miss you, it's because I can't see. Okay, well, maybe then I'm sorry that your eyes are you're having issues mm -hmm. with your eyeballs. Debbie, uh, Mark, can you shed some light on as to why Debbie doesn't want to camp? Yeah, I mean, they, they always or do. You, do you camp, Debbie? Yeah, they What's camp. I've What's seen happening? them go camping down at the ranch with the ranch trucks and all that. The ranch dog, and they're out there ranching at the lake. And huh. So yeah, I know it. I know it. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> what? Uh, he says you're not gonna want to know where I bought you. <laughs> Sicko. <laughs> Especially after Brian Man. gets told the chili. Pretty funny. She is funny. I'm <laughs> don't, I have no idea what kind of she's about the story she's about to tell. That's hilarious. You kind of know it, no? But yeah, but uh, Ladonna is the one. Uh, Kevin says my axe has six strings. Hey, there you go. What's that? Six strings. It's guitar. Oh, oh my gosh. Guitar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, kind of figured. No, well, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rough it for a night, just so you know. The tent part sucks if it gets windy. Well, okay. one of the first comments I saw with me posting our, the video of our soft topper build setup and all that was Terry at Empty Homes says, "Yeah, I could see it now. One night roughing it, and the second night at Holiday Inn Express." <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, I think some folks might have it figured out already. I don't know, but I'm staying put. Well, I wonder why. I mean, because I'm probably because I'm a city girl. I've never been, but I'm not like, you know, like I was saying when we were going live, like I'm not an idiot. I mean, I know you sleep outside, but. Yeah, we'll be in our little. Yeah. You know what I was thinking too about this? Topper. I, I had to go get that thing so I can better explain. Well, I don't have a picture of the truck though. Because I was thinking about my little canvas covered wagon. Oh, God. And then I was looking at my, I said, boy, covered wagons come a long way, haven't they? <laughs> you you yeah, know? They have. My canvas covered truck versus canvas covered wagon. Wendy, she says, how are you both? I love watching your lives on YouTube and many more to come. Oh, thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Thanks Wendy. for being here. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy that you're here. Always thankful for all y'all. Uh, okay, let me see. Ron said it'll be like that scene from Jurassic Park when the guy's hiding in the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh uh, no. Uh, when he said she can't stay but wanted to come in supper support oh, us for a few minutes. Yep, gotta well, have thank supper. You. Heck yeah. That's okay. one thing I don't ever want to miss is supper. Oh, that's right. Evelyn Newman uh, offered as well. <laughs> she said, oh. Debbie, if you need a break from camping, I have a cabin right across the river at two old people on the couch. That is so funny. Oh, I'm going to try it. I, I, I definitely am going to try yeah, this it. This will be a first for us not having a cabin, huh? This will be a first for us not having a cabin. It's yeah. the first time well, for us to camp together. My yeah. first time camping. Yeah, so it's going to be fun. <laughs> I think it's going to be fun. I mean, I already yeah, we'll be fine. <laughs> How are dogs today? They're good. One, the little one's going to the groomer tomorrow. 
her first time to the groomer. Yeah, so this is that's going. I'd love to be watching this because she's going by herself, so it might be different. Going by herself, but anytime we try to brush her or anything, it's a fiasco. <laughs> I mean, she ain't having it. She's not having it. She's one year old and still has she's still has her puppy hair, so it's long and it's just a mess. She's a cute mess. as a bug though, but still. Yeah, speaking of, there's her little baby's gonna have to put her little Oh, her little tiny bow. Look at that little bitty tiny bow for that little bitty baby. <laughs> oh, she's so stinking cute. Okay, Bowen said he's gonna be in and out. Hey, there's Jesse with lazy days ahead. Jesse hey, and Lisa. Jesse, how are you, sir? And Lisa. Uh, Kevin said he has to get his battery replaced again. Uh, your battery. Oh, your really? Good lord. Man, what was that? Four months ago? If, if that, what the heck? Gotcha. Okay. So uh, Debbie said that Julie asked her, and she misses Julie and Randy, and she likes camping if conditions are right. No wind, and she likes it to be 70 degrees. Ah. Uh, Got it. Okay. Gotcha. It was, is Julie and Randy going to be there? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. They're the ones that asked if we, um, Julie's the one that asked if we want to have a slumber party there. I said, also, Randy may not even know it yet. He might get the boot. No, he knows it. He was oh. on. They were both live last night. Oh, okay. And um, I mean, I was joking around. I was like, hey, I'm kind of, <laughs> let's have a slumber party with me. Johnny, baby. how are you, sir? Uh, okay, so let me tell y'all what, <laughs> what I did. Uh-oh. Well, you already know. Oh, I so, don't know what you're about to tell. The <laughs> other night, let's see, was it yesterday? No, yesterday morning, I um went ahead and submitted my application to Survivor. Oh, yeah. That reality show, right? Yeah. Um, and for any of you that don't know what Survivor is, it is a um, it's like a reality show. You're on Challenges. a island where you're deprived of uh i mean you have nothing you have nothing um you get like a um not a lighter but what is that thing called a um plant fire starter or fire starter or... yeah to make your own fire so that you can boil water so you can have water um if you win challenges or physical challenges or mental challenges like puzzles or memory challenges uh, uh memory is not gonna be good but um you might could win some rewards. So like maybe a bag of rice, maybe some beans in the midst of it all. So the, the, the theme behind it is to outwit, outplay and outlast. Um, and uh, you are supposed to like befriend people and create alliances. Yeah. And then um, sometimes and depending on, back <laughs> depending off. on how you play, some people are very honest and, uh, get booted off. Some people stab people in the back and they get booted off. Some people think they're friends with you and you think they're friends mm -hmm. and then somebody winds up a lot on of, you. A lot of conniving going on. Yeah. So <laughs> I submitted my application to that and lo and behold, you guys, I get an email back saying, okay, you ready to go to step two? Well, step two is to um, submit so they you can either pay them money to promote you and teach you to promote and so i See, emailed, they got their own conniving going on too they do but but i emailed back last night and i said never mind um i'm not going to pay to be on a reality tv show um i'm looking to I'm get good. on there and win some money myself yes because if the winners win a million dollars hold on <laughs> <laughs> so i told pooch last night i'm not doing it because they want us to pay four hundred dollars to be promoted to get to Even be able to be at. on the show. Yeah, and I'm like, I emailed them back last night. I told Pooch, I'm told, I'm I'm out. I'm not doing it. This morning, I get an email saying, "Send your pictures anyway." Uh yeah. So I submitted seven pictures. Um, did you send some of you doing the mud runs? I did. And all that? I sent some with the cow mud town. runs, some with the cow town. Um. I sent one of uh, just regular at uh, my book promotion yeah. picture. I sent one working with children. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, mud run, um, the cow town, and then uh, out hiking with Tristan when we were in Seattle yeah. and all the things. So yeah, <laughs> I submitted, I went ahead and submitted the pictures, but I tell them I'm not paying crap. So 
We'll see if I make it to the next hey. stage. What if I do? What if you do? And what if you win a million bucks? Yeah. But Kickapoo, well, the reason why I brought Kickapoo in it is because she texted me after the first time I mentioned wanting to go on. And she said, but, you, there's no way. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, she said, because you have to lie and you have to be conniving yeah. and all that. And she said, you're not going to, you'll be found out because you, uh, you know, can't tell a lie and i'm like well i probably could <laughs> <laughs> i could probably be con so y'all yeah, what if i get conniving. on yeah i'll be conniving and to be on tv what's an nbc show too isn't it uh yeah. cbs oh okay yeah 10 11 i watched the um the island the banker deal or no deal deal or no island. deal island yeah. i like that show it's cool and i'm not never have i ever been one to sit and watch stupid tv shows and but i'm hooked on this one i am hooked and one of the guys on there was actually rob he was on the survivor wasn't he he was rob was on survivor yeah did he win uh yes he won one yeah ah so he's back in it in the deal or no deal yeah which is a cool show i like that show can't wait for next monday see what happens Owen said he's doing good. He's just tired tonight. I am 10 minutes behind. Hey, there's Troy Sutton. Hey, Troy, how are you? And you take take it easy on yourself there, um, Bowen. Bowen. Don't overdo it as bad as you want to. Y'all, y'all know the, um, so that young man from Missouri, Riley Strain. Mm. The one that I was telling y'all about, it's been a minute. Yeah, LaDonna is needing prayers. Yep. Um, and, you know, they, I think I told y'all that if I was hoping they would find him and find him alive, you know, but he'd been missing for so long. I mean, it was just not. And they haven't not got happen. the toxicology back yet, have they? Right. So they found him, for those of you that um, are following or not following, but the kid I was talking about, Riley, the young man, not kid. Um, yeah, I know we're so behind. <laughs> Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, I guess Heather, we're going to pray for you too. Heather had a tooth pulled and she had a mild headache today mm -hmm. and anxiety. So, but she said that the, having her tooth pulled went well. Poor um, Heather. but, uh, so they found, they found him, mm -hmm. uh, in the river. But when they found him, they found him without his uh, jeans when he was wearing a belt, without his jeans and his boots, but he still had his socks on and his shirt. And um, someone prior to them finding him said that they saw a homeless, because there's a homeless uh, camp around where the uh, river is, where he was found. Someone a few days prior to them, him floating in the, being found floating in the river said they saw a homeless guy wearing his shirt. And the reason why his shirt, this is why I think that yeah, they probably, the person was wearing the shirt. I bet. I don't know, but I bet because they said the shirt that um, the homeless guy was seen wearing had vomit on it. You know, uh -huh. Raleigh was sick from yeah, drunkenness, drunkenness and possibly um, tainted drink. Yes. Drug or something. Yes. And then they went on the news and said that someone had seen a homeless guy wearing his shirt. He wore a, um, the shirt he was wearing was really um, very different. It was half of it was black and half of it was white with a black pocket. And so you couldn't miss it. And um, it was a few days after they had made it to the news, said that the homeless guy was seen wearing a shirt. And the shirt was back. All of a sudden they find him. Back on uh -huh. Riley. Yeah. And so now, and so he was there with fraternity brothers mm -hmm. and the fraternity brothers aren't talking. They haven't even reached out to the parents or anything since this happened. They were on this trip to yeah. Nashville together. The fraternity brothers, fraternity. nor, and his uh, roommates. Yeah. So they're also not just his fraternity brothers, but they're his roommates. And they're also his friends from high school. None of them have reached out to Riley's parents. None of the parents of the fraternity have reached out to Riley's parents um, in fact, the day that they um, found Riley, the fraternity was seen um, going to their formal that night. And what? yeah, the fraternity brothers even waved to Riley's parents while Riley's parents were out there looking for Riley. What in the world? They still have not spoken. The The fraternity brothers still haven't reached out Something to them. Something fishy anything. on that. Yeah. So I think it was a setup. 
Something. Yeah. I think it's a setup to do something to him. And, yeah. Some, something. Yeah. That's but, craziness. Ridiculous. Yeah. So uh, the reason why y'all are spooning is because uh, Debbie is getting old and she just, she's getting old and she just does it for me. <laughs> okay. Sorry. We are behind. Uh, so yeah. That's, that's I don't know why I brought that up, but. Yeah, well, it's just news. News yeah. that we follow around here, which yep. we follow a lot, but we don't like dragging too much into it because get a little voice up some opinions that don't want to offend nobody. Right. Well, that's just... Um, of course, I ain't looking to offend nobody anyway, but I'm sure everybody's got their own opinion okay. of current affairs that are happening in this world. And yeah, and then those two moms, those two teachers that were found um deceased and oh yeah a custody battle and Too late. Been, i think somebody in the family yeah but somebody in this group was friends with those two girls too. no I way i can't remember who it was but there's somebody i think i want to you know i don't know i don't know if it was nana well, i know they're in oklahoma or kansas oh kansas and i i oh, kind of nana i kind of think nana not nine uh, acres nine acres knew someone in that i believe someone up there i wow. saw some talk somewhere well that's sad because that's a big old that was a custody battle at, and it's sad that the the both moms were found but it's i don't mm -hmm. know if it's even more sad but gosh um unfortunately the one teacher was just going to accompany yeah the one a, that was involved in the custody battle a, when she a supervised child visit is what i think it was about mm -hmm. yeah terrible crazy. People nowadays are just, mm, I don't even. Hey, there's Lean. You almost can't trust. Is it trust, Lean or Lane? I think I asked this last time. Can't trust nobody nowadays. Yeah. You always better keep it's your scary, eyes open, one eye open and head on a swivel. It is scary. Mm -hmm. According to Lane is on. Howdy, ma'am. He jumped in. Bowen says he wants to sleep in an 18-foot covered wagon. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, I know. That'd be cool. Hey, that's right, Tracy. We are. We're going to sit by the fire and sing songs. Hey, somebody needs to bring their guitar, and um, we are going to sit by a fire and sing songs. Yeah, I wonder. What are you going to sing, babe? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> We're doing well. How about you? I won't like my outlaw kind of music, so that's the kind of stuff I like. <laughs> baby don't like it, I know. Well, hey, there's Peter. Hey, Peter. Old man King Homestead. I don't like it on and on and on and on. Like, hey, once it's on, it's on. But I like a variety of. I like Dirt Road, Texas music and just let her go. I listen to, um, which a lot of folks probably never even heard of the guys I listen to, like Creed Fisher and Mickey LaManna and Frank Foster and. I'm not a mainstream kind of guy, so hmm. I like stuff that they won't play on the air. Where do you listen to it then? On uh, what's that music app? Pandora. Uh huh. Gotcha. Yeah. There's Justin. Hey, Justin. Back road you, freedom. We're gonna try out some of your goodies this not this weekend, but next weekend. I'm waiting to see Justin's beach camping and fishing video. Yeah. There's Mickey. He says about one week, and I finally get to meet Pretty and Pooch. Yep. We're so excited to meet oh, you, Mickey. God. So excited to see everybody. Sure are. There's going to be folks that we haven't met there, and it's just going to be fun. Did you get a good 12-volt fan? I uh, haven't yet. I do have that little fan that I got us, but I need to get a 12-volt fan that we can plug in and our battery charge, too. A little bigger one, because that's just barely gonna blow any air around so yeah i need uh, to get a good one oh uh, yeah <laughs> you better go find a good one because i know i get hot and i know she will too yeah yeah freaking gonna be baking speaking of baking barely bakes is here says you guys have your own little talk show heck yeah Hi, barely bakes howdy barely bakes thank you for coming in here yes sir sounds like the way i our man bake. this is what we got this is our what own we got. little talk show that's right come on in and chat and yep. Everyone remember type FBC and your channel link will drop for all the other folks to come check you out. Yep, FBC all caps will uh, drop your link. Yeah. That's right. 
appreciate you coming in here. <laughs> yeah, but, y'all, Survivor, could you imagine? Wouldn't that be so much fun? I think it'd be cool. I would love to get on there. Yeah. I have tried. Well, I I wanted to get on to Fear Factor, and that was like 100 years ago. And then um, I just I said, don't know. Eh, I don't want to be on there. So um, you'd probably do good at some <laughs> ultimate of the ch- campaign on Survivor. <laughs> No, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I but with this with being on Survivor, you have the opportunity to possibly win a million dollars. Yeah, what's and Fear Factor was only giving out fifty or yeah. something, fifty thousand for eating bugs and rodents and larva and all that kind of crap. Yeah. What the heck? Yeah. Put some money up there so somebody will really want to do it. Yes, you get to wear clothes, <laughs> Johnny. <Yeah. laughs> Oh, yeah, it wouldn't be no naked and afraid, huh? Yeah, it's not naked and afraid, but it's like naked and afraid with clothes, kind of, yeah. But then you do these uh, challenges and... Uh, I can see her doing naked and afraid. I would never. I know you wouldn't. I'm afraid to get, look at Brian. He says, you haven't even gone camping yet, and you're going on Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> Uh, hey, y'all, be quiet. It's not funny. <laughs> Look, Debbie says, LMAO, Tish, you won't make it a day if you're a city girl on Survivor. <laughs> I used to want to be on Survivor, but I was a lot younger. <laughs> mm. Hey, but I want to try. Hey, there's Rainy Ridge. Rainy Ridge. Yeah, I, I would, I would, I don't know if I'd do any Survivor stuff, but I'd do the uh, Deal or No Deal Island. You would? Yeah, I'd do that. I, I mean, not that I wouldn't do Survivor, but I'm not as fit or active as I used to be. Back in the day, I probably would have. I probably won, too, actually. Is that right? Mm. Cool. Yeah, with my conniving abilities. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, maybe like, maybe he's a little bit of a conniver. Yeah, I'll, I'll connive into something. Maybe you can teach me some things before I go. Some conniving ways and... You know me i'm always analyzing everything and me and baby watch these um we overanalyze yeah we overanalyze and then i get to pointing out all kinds of different views and baby's like well i didn't think of that and i always seem to turn it around on her it seems like she may be thinking about the scenario one way and then i bring up another scenario and turn it around the other way then baby like what like what tell well, me you know when we watch crime stories and <gasps> oh that's jur- right judge judge Ah, uh, yeah, y'all. And... I'm the worst. I can't. That's why my show is called No Judgment here because yeah, I I'm... can't. I can't do. I like. I don't. I believe everything. I don't know. Would I be a good survivor? It's like the time, baby. We were in bed. And baby's listening to this. We we listen, or she listens to something usually, and I'm watch. usually listening or watching better something. Watch what you say. Yeah, <laughs> but all I heard was someone in a jury in court trying to. Trying to profess his innocence or what? Well, no, actually, well, he wasn't even he wasn't guilty. He was a a witness, star witness, or was he a? I forgot what he, he was. He was a suspect. Oh, was he? A, I thought he was a detective in it or something. But anyway, I was, oh, he was. It was. It was a detective in it. Yeah, he was a special guy yeah. that knew forensics and all of that. Yeah. And I just caught part of it, and he's over there explaining. I was like, what? Asked Bay, I said, because she watches them all the time, so I knew she was watching something like that. And I said, what's this dude trying to do um, to um, prove his innocence? Or, or Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what's he doing, trying to prove his innocence? And I was like, it's a it's a uh, FBI detective that's yeah. on the witness stand. But but Pooch is right. He does get me to think. Like, I it when I get into a box, um, he's trying to cover his guilty self, and yeah. he's like, he's not even guilty of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> he's a star witness. Yeah. Like, oh, it sounds like he was trying to connive his yeah. way out of something. Yeah, baby's already always, always already wanting condemned to, him. Yeah, <laughs> he did. <gasps> Leanne, you've never watched Survivor? Go watch it. And if you really want to watch a good one, watch um, season 23 or 26. Those are really good. Really good seasons. Um, Survive. Heck yeah. But yeah, I analyze stuff pretty good. You, I'm pretty good judgment of a person. So <laughs> Bowen said, let me find out you're on Survivor. <laughs> <laughs> Bowen, could you imagine? 
Oh my gosh. Hey y'all, it's not funny. <laughs> yeah, I usually I at least I think I usually know if somebody's conniving or trying to talk their way out of something. So uh, they're guilty. Right, babe? Most of the time. Yeah. yeah. He always says guilty. Yeah. And I'm always saying, oh, they're innocent. That's bad to think, too, actually. Innocent until proven guilty, but today's world is guilty until, until proven innocent. Which is sad. Yeah, it's sad. Tracy, yeah. you should Tracy, you should um you should uh try to get on Survivor with me. Wouldn't that be fun? Tracy, mm -hmm. Put in your application. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. Johnny yeah. said he wouldn't do it. Lion puts me out. I'm not, you know what? I might be like the one that doesn't ever lie. Not everybody lies on there, but yeah. the majority do. But yeah, not but everybody. When lies. you're trying to save your spot, I mean, you're going to do whatever to keep yourself safe in the game and not have, because I always think too, I'm going to get in there and I'm not, I'm not going to be friends with nobody. I'm going to stay to myself, but then, you know, it gets down to the nut cutting time and then you're doing whatever you got to do in order to maintain your spot in the game and not get booted off. I think yeah. I'd be straight up with everybody at all times and just let them know, Hey, I ain't picking no sides. We're all here for a reason. And that's why I'm going to be here as long as I can. I ain't friends with none of y'all. <laughs> I ain't protecting nobody, but my own, but. That'd probably get me Thanks, booted Linda. off the bat, too. Okay, yeah. let's catch up. 724, and it is 730. Woo! FYI, Tish, Liz Wilcox is one of the final 12 contestants on season 46 of Survivor, and she's a full-timer RV channel. <gasps> uh, That's awesome. I need who, to go watch her that. Her name is Liz Wilcox, and she's on season 46. Here, Liz Wilcox. Now. Hey, yeah, I'd go check her channel in, see what Cox, maybe get some little ideas and lessons, huh? Yeah, ask her some questions. Yeah, how you connive <laughs> in there? Hey, there's Josh. Hey, Josh, how are you, sir? Good to see you, buddy. And Justin said he had a great time camping on the beach at Padre Island National Seashore last weekend. Cool, good, good, good. Ready to see a video. I've been watching your other one, so I know you got your 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 rack video and all that, but I'm sure it takes a little time. Who knows what all he got on there, but I bet it was fun. Josh is sitting with his grandma. Oh, nice. So he might not be uh he might miss comments. Looking forward to seeing y'all next weekend though, weekend after. Rebecca. I wonder how Ronald's doing, Rebecca. Oh, oh. you're right, Bowen. <laughs> we don't like whenever you uh, you're in a club, a bar, a party, anywhere. Yeah, you just watch your own drink and. Oh, good lord! Yeah, always tell her daughter that. That's exactly. Don't take a drink from nobody. Make sure you get it right from the waitress and. And watch them and the whole watch time. It. Don't and... leave it. Don't go to the bathroom. Leave it. Take it with you or whatever. But yeah, you got to be careful out there nowadays. So Mike and Terry say Robertson's Billy Acre knows them folks, and they talked about it on their channel. Ah, that's you teachers. Yeah, that's where I heard. Yep. Yep. Say hmm. Evelyn Newman says Rachel and Rusty were from the same towns the women were from, and Rachel went to school with one of the aunts. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. My gosh. It's crazy. Went to school with the mother. Yeah. Man, the world's small in, in some ways, you know, but there's a lot of us all over the place. And it's weird how our paths cross somewhere, mm -hmm. somehow, at any time. You just never know. It is. It's next weekend. We're going to be out there on Friday. Mm hmm. We're ready. Still got a little bit of prepping to do, but we're ready. Yep. We're going to get our basket together. Yep. And don't forget, we got to take that quilt. Yep. And thank you, Jesse. Yep. Um, Pack our stuff up and be ready to camp. This might be a deciding factor on whether we get us a 
another RV again too, huh? <laughs> it might be. <laughs> Should have never got rid of that other one. But it'll be okay. We do have power and water. We have power and water. Do we have both? I thought I read somewhere I thought we did, but then I saw something that said we didn't have one or the other. Hmm. One of the two is there, I know. I might be setting up my station at our campsite and whipping up our chili. I'm trying to debate what chili I want to make, though. I was kind of thinking of making a chicken chili to be different. And I might still do that. Oh, uh, James, there's no bathroom. You go in the, um, you go, you go poopy in the uh, ocean oh, on Survivor. Yeah. <laughs> there's no bathroom. You don't, oh my God. Yeah, I'd be like, maybe. hold up. <laughs> I'm going to go poopy so nobody come over. Here. Yeah. Baby's already second guessing her entry now. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see her there trying to hold it for a week or however long they're there on that thing. How many days it's, is it? Uh, it is 39 days. Oh, Lord. Yeah. So oh, so I'll, I'll be, be here there with the dogs. Yeah, you'll be here with the dogs and you oh, take great. care of things. Hold down the fort and all those uh -huh. <laughs> if you miss me saying hello to me, yeah. I'm just watching my mom and dad pooch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Justin, what do you think about me going on? Justin, probably fun. all for it. Linda Peterson, she won't get undressed in front of pooch during the day. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, y'all. Justin. I'm going to wear like a, a, um, a one piece swimsuit and some shorts uh -huh. and probably wear some long because you can only you can only wear what you take and then maybe wear some long stretch pants over that and then a sweater ah i already have my attire picked out you gotta wear it for 39 days yeah but you can shed it as you need of course if it gets too hot wear your bathing suit and if it starts to get a little chilly i can put my I've got my 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 um outfit picked out, y'all already. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at that red hue on the sun coming in back in my face off that door right there. Sun's over here, but it's reflecting off the glass door. <laughs> and the cows came home again. They were all out there a little bit ago. Tracy said that she could do Big Brother. They would never figure her out. I've never watched that. Mm -mm. Have you? No. Nope. I don't watch too much TV. I watch YouTube. Simply Jan. Watch all of you folks out there. Simply Jan. Hey, Jan, how are you, ma'am? Yeah. can't wait to Same. see you. Can't wait to see you again, ma'am. What's this? Heck oh, yeah, yeah, Tracy. We could be on an alliance. And we could pretend mm -hmm. like um, we could just we could pretend and manipulate and tell people we don't like each other, but then take each other to the end. You're secretly friends, and yeah. you're playing. Y'all got a y'all got a plan. Yeah, me and Tracy got plans already. You're definitely <laughs> conniving. <laughs> but then, what's going to happen when it's just y'all two left? We'll split it, right, Tracy? If one of us wins the million dollars, we'll split it. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah. Hey, one of us, we're both going to win here. Or we're both going to be to the end. and We're just going to split it. That's <laughs> the plan. Because 500,000 is better than no thousand. Heck yeah. That's right. I would agree with that, Pooch. When it comes oh, down yeah. to Heck yeah. I'll figure it out. Mm -hmm. so Mickey says, I know a guy... That is cousin to the ex-wife of a brother of a homesteader that tells me there is a homesteader outdoor life YouTube meetup in 2025 that has a Survivor Island theme. True-ish story. Hey. That would be fun. Let's go. Yeah, let us know about that one. Okay, Lori. This says, Dish, I love you, but you have to sleep outside and go to the bathroom outside. <laughs> That's just to begin with. Yep. That's right, Lori. Oh, this would be a good yeah. break in. This it would be, but up. are you going to pay me any money if I make it through the weekend? Emma? 
Yeah. What do you mean? Well, if I make it. <laughs> you got to do it to show the folks here that you're able to do it. I can do it. No That's it. I'm don't even worry about it. I'm not sleeping nowhere except for the tent. In the soft topper, in the truck. Yeah. Truck bed camping. <laughs> yeah. Just watch me. <laughs> I might already bring a tent to put on the ground just in case, huh? Yeah. And then I'll really show everybody. Yeah, because after the chili, I'm liable to be in that tent. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, Justin said, when can I come to visit at the house? Maybe do some camping on your land. Come on. Yep. Come on down. I'm wanting to go do some camping somewhere, too. I thought about it. I was wishing Pretty and I could get out here and do it before the meetup, but I don't think we're going to be able to. We got too much going on. But you come on, Justin. That'd be fun. Do you put beans Make, in your chili? Heck yeah. Love beans in the chili. That's right. It is So, yeah, Brian, you poop in the ocean, you catch a good white wave, you're all clean. It's like having a bidet. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking about making chili <laughs> or chicken chili. Might be different. <sighs> I mean, and I got the recipe from my mom, so... She made me a batch. It was okay. It needed a little something in there, but I think I'm going to try it and bring it some some chicken chili. Hey, you never know. Might be the best one there. I might win. You never know. There's Derek Fowler, 1973. Wait, waiting to see what you got to do to win that big Blackstone that Gillum's got to bring for a prize. Maybe going to win that prize? Yeah, I might be bringing it home, and now well, I have two of them. Bowen, did you say hi to Derek Flower? Hey, Derek, how are you, sir? Bowen glad says, you, I can't you see you on Survivor. <laughs> could you? Hey, I don't know. Yeah, I could see you on Because you know when I have my mindset to she's something. She's pretty competitive at stuff. So if she gets her mindset on something, she's going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I can see her on there. All right. I can see her competing, actually. Justin says, I'm for you going on Survivor, but I should probably go with you. It will come down to just us, and I'll let you in. Love you, <laughs> <laughs> hey yeah hey, the that would be right that'd be good yeah go help her win justin <laughs> chan said you <laughs> thought it was your blood pressure because your face is so red uh, yeah <laughs> it's that sun <sighs> sunset facing me in the east window where the sun's actually coming in the west window over here i'm just getting the glare are you gonna hurt what are you cattle on your I, hey, yeah, I'm I'm thinking about it. I need to get that sucker out and test something. I need to put that brand on something. Yeah, there's lots of young kids on uh, Survivor too. Hey, you don't wipe up. your butt. <laughs> you just poop in the ocean. Do like yeah, do like Brian said. You get catch some a wave. Sand. That's the gritty. Yeah, but you get sand and you just kind of. Scrub and scrub like sandpaper, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then is that why you get that rough house toilet paper in there? <laughs> <laughs> is that why we got that? <laughs> <laughs> that rough house, rough and ready toilet paper. She brings yeah, home. I'm practicing. Next thing you know, it'll be sandpaper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, uh, man. Hey, there's hey, Neil. Hey, Neil, how are you, sir? He said he's busy, man. He's busy. I made it, but I'm busy. I'm glad you're busy. I'm glad you're able to be busy, Neil. For sure. <laughs> Been a dog. Yeah, that's right. That is right. <laughs> oh, man. Y'all are so funny. I love y'all. Y'all are so fun. Hey, there's Karen Brast. Hey, Karen. How are you? Good to, good to see you in here, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got to make sure our batteries are charged, too. I've been playing with them things out there and testing them. So, so we got to be able to charge them up and we'll be ready to go and run our stuff that we need. Unless there is electric on that camp site, which are, there might be. I double well, What check. are you going to do if our battery dies? Isn't there a we'll place be, somebody will have some? We'll be SOL. 
but somebody will have some place, an outlet or something. Oh, you yeah. Can charge it. I'm sure, but I, we might have power at the campsite. I just don't. don't Dan mean, says chili isn't chili without beans. That's right. I think I'm going to make some Shiner Bock chili. Good idea, Bowen. Yeah. Hey, I do make a good brisket too, don't I? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I got to figure out what I. We got to figure out what we're bringing for the potluck too. I think we're bringing dessert. Oh, are we? What's baby making? I'm making a trip to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm making a trip to the Bunt House oh, place. Oh, you gonna buy what? Ten of them? About hundred. Yeah, it'd be a lot, a lot of bunt buntinis to yeah. be had for sure. <laughs> Maybe make that's a, what city people do. We order out. Make a campfire dump cake, cherry dump cake or something. We could make cake over the campfire. Yeah. No, they yeah, I, yeah. We need to cook. Everything needs to be prepped and cooked over the campfire. <laughs> that's what I aim to do, especially if I come up making chili. Hey, look! You can order your. Uh, Jesse's put the link if you're going, or even if you're not going. You can have um, a shirt for the mm, ten killer. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to order a shirt. Mm -hmm. You can certainly order them there. Thank you, Jesse, for putting those links there. Yep. He also put the link to um, reserve your campsite. Yep. Come on, folks. If you let's have go. it, let's go. And then Bowen says, "Yeah, one of us should go with you for the survive part." <laughs> uh huh. It won't be me because I'll be here taking care of the dogs and crap. Tracy. I said, if you survive the weekend camping, we got a deal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Those dogs are going to have a, oh, boy. another thing coming when so mama's funny. gone for 39 days. Oh, my poor I'll baby. put them in the backyard and they'll become outside dogs. Yep. I'll throw them under the porch. There's your house and blanket underneath the porch. You're outside until mama gets home. There's the Ozark hey. meetup, May hey, 10th, 11th, and 12th. That's, that's in Missouri. Wow. And the Arkansas River Valley meetup. Yeah, man, both of those are right behind this meetup. Brian yep. said that would be called sandblasting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. Oh my gosh. Dang, that would hurt too. <laughs> John Wayne toilet paper rough and tough. No, uh, take no crap off anyone. Uh huh. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Jan. <laughs> I think that's what pretty brings home anyway, for some reason. The only, least... yeah, the reason why I bring it is because it's the cheapest. Oh. Uh, and because baby needs a little extra scrub. Not me. <laughs> yeah. You... Yeah. You... Uh -uh. <laughs> I usually just pop right in the shower. Oh, Otherwise, Rebecca said, please note cherries. She's allergic to them. Uh-oh. She cannot oh, eat I, cherries. That's from me mentioning that cherry dump cake. I'm going to arrive at Lake Tinkiller Thursday afternoon. All right. I'm not sure what time we'll get there. <laughs> Probably midday Friday. <laughs> James, that's the other thing. No Uber Eats on Survivor. Yeah. Holding the, okay, y'all, the only reason why these people can do this because we're all in a Bible study together with Dave. Hey, where is Dave? Oh, they were going to church. Yeah. Dave and Sam. Uh, we're in Bible study together with Dave at um, Goat Days. Melinda says, stop production on Survivor's pretty ones. Thank you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to see how that works out. Is the chili cook off Saturday night? I believe so. I believe that's when it is, Saturday afternoon. Are you making some too, Jan? Is the boss coming with you, Jan? Hi, Ann Dale. Ann Dale. Howdy, ma'am. Look at Ann. Ann's a cheerleader. She says, go, Tish. You can do it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yep. Speaking of, you better tell everybody about the book that's coming out now. That's oh. out. Yes, it it is out, y'all. Um, so maybe so, you might have a few. Yes, herself. Yes. Um, so um, the book, um, 
Surrender to Rise, the book that I, I wrote a chapter in. There are, I think it's eight other chapters, maybe nine chapters in the book, but the book uh, is the author's copies are in. And so, and the order for the books are going in tomorrow and they should be in within a week. So if you've ordered a book, um, then I'll get it to you ASAP. But um, the the book is out. So if you want to order a book, you can certainly um, let me know if you want to order one and um, I can send you a link. And um, if you want to just go to the website, it's www www.showyourcrown.com and you would just click on my picture and order your book there. There's also the prayer journal that you can order that Elena Rodriguez created. She created the prayer journal and it's beautiful. It's beautifully wrapped. And um, so, but yeah, the book is out. Oh my gosh. And it's arrived and so excited. Mm -hmm. Thank you all that have ordered one. I know there are several in this chat. Um, several of you guys have ordered one and I appreciate you all so much. Um, James Hall says, drag your butt down the beach like one of those dogs. That, that's what I would do. <laughs> oh yeah. my gosh, you guys. I just love y'all. That's so what I would funny. do. Uh, that's what's why the lineup for tonight, babe? Uh, the lineup, of course, the first half of the lineup on a Thursday or Wednesday night is 4 p.m. Our Mountain Home with Jen and um, Wiley. Our Mountain Home, they finally made their move. They're in Arkansas now. They're neighbors with Bobblehead. Uh, following Our Mountain Home, Jen and Wiley, is Mama V, Possum Run Homestead. And then comes up Three Mississippi with Mike and Sid. That's uh, 6 to 7. 7 o'clock, yours truly, Pretty and Pooch, here at Full Blown Country. Uh, followed by, at 8 o'clock, Mike and Terry, MT Homestead. And then followed by... Them too is our buddy Brian at the Vineyard Farmhouse. And then closing out the night is Peter at Old Man King Homestead. So be sure and go hit them up and give them a thumbs up and a like and leave them a comment. Let them know you were there. Thank you, Jesse. Thank you so much. There's the link to order the book. Mm -hmm. um, nice. And, Thanks, Jesse. you know, like I said, when uh, a few of the authors were being interviewed, um, gosh, if you don't connect with me and my uh, story and some of the testimonies and things that I've shared. There are several other women that you may connect with one or more. Um, and uh, man, they have, uh, everyone has really been through a lot. And, uh, but and, the end of the story just gives you so much hope for and, sure. And what's the follow up to this one for the men? It's called the Kings. So um, the King, there are going to be men that are telling their story, uh, their testimony. And I believe she needs two more men um we're called the queens and the men that tell their story are the kings of course everybody on earth or you know everybody's queen and king and um but men are actually have volunteered to be transparent and share their testimonies so gosh i sure can't wait to support them those men have been huge cheerleaders and supporters for us women that have um shared our story in this book uh and uh, I, I not to do say anything or blow smoke, but uh, it was it was quite difficult to put pen to paper for me to um, relive some of those things. Um, and uh, but I, you know, I know that God wanted me to because, like I said in the interview, um, when I was asked why, why, uh, how first number one, how could I keep um, my chapter is called the secret within and the uh, person that interviewed me, Elena, she asked me how was I able to keep the secret for a decade um, uh, within, and uh, it was really through God. It was only God. I mean, there's no way. I mean, of course, there were days that I was in the shower bawling. There were days when um, I text one of my friends and I said, "I'm about to throw the towel in. I don't think I can do this anymore." You know, my gosh, some of the darkest days. But the reason why we all shared is to give other people hope and. Um, to know that God is good. That is the reason why we wrote the book. And um, so definitely not for self-promotion at all. So um, I yep. hope that you guys will go and check out the book. Um, and um, everyone yes, has a story. Everybody has a story. Most definitely. And thank you right. all in here that have bought it. Um, oh, nice. That's true, Debbie. <laughs> 
Once you don't eat for a week, you don't poop anymore anyways. Yeah. That's right. Drop a few pounds and all. Heck yeah. I ain't scared. Uh, uh-huh. All right. Well, I guess. Thank you, Linda. Wow. I guess it, it is time for us Dang to it. It um, is. head on out. Let's go see Good MT Lord. Homestead. Hour went by quick. It did, didn't it? Sure did. Yeah, that was, that was fun. But we appreciate you guys for joining us tonight. And we hope to see you all again soon. Maybe we'll have another follow-up video this week of some sort of calamity of the prepping for camping that Freddie and Pooch will be doing. Mm -hmm. And we look forward to seeing all the folks that are going to make it at the uh, Lake 10 Killer Meetup. But um, let's get on over to Mike and Terry. Mm -hmm. Remember, everybody needs a friend named Pooch. They call me Pooch. And everybody needs a little pretty in their life. And she's my pretty. Uh -huh. Let's go see Mike and Terry. Love y'all. Thank y'all for your support. Yep. Thank you, guys. Love y'all. See y'all again. Mm. Yes, sir. Ding. <laughs>